Good morning. My name is Dr. Pankaj Talwar and I'm the head medical services of Birla Fertility and IVF. I'm a gynecologist who's trained in IVF and clinical embryology. I have keen interest in managing the patients with male infertility and andrology. I welcome you back again to our YouTube channel where we routinely educate you all about common issues which pertain to infertility. Before we begin, I would like to introduce to you Birla Fertility and IVF where we offer compassionate care and clinically reliable fertility solutions to the men and women. Our experts at Birla Fertility and IVF, they've got experience of nearly 14,000 cycles and they specialize in developing tailor-made protocols for you which will help you to achieve consistently high success rates. So today we'll talk to you about a very common problem for which you all contact us, you all visit our OPDs and that is PISA. PISA stands for Percutaneous Epididymal Sperm Aspiration. The common queries which we get in our OPDs is that you ask us, Doctor, what is PISA? How does PISA help in IVF? PISA kaise hota hai? What is the procedure of, of carrying out the PISA? And in case we do PISA, are we sure of getting sperms and getting a pregnancy? So today, we'll answer all these queries and educate you about this method of surgical sperm retrieval that is called PISA. So before we go to PISA, we have to understand how does a sperm form in the male. As we understand, sperm forms in the testes and then the testes is connected with the penis by multiple tubes. These tubes are commonly called as epididymis and the vas deferens and then we have ejaculatory duct. So when sperm or shakranu testes mein banta hai, it takes around nearly 90 days to travel from the testes and reach outside and get ejaculated. Normally when you carry out IVF, we use the ejaculated sperm. These sperms are given to us after a normal process of masturbation and sperms are prepared and we carry out IVF or XC. So we have to understand that a sperm takes nearly 90 days to form and mature and then travel through these small small tubes which are commonly called as epididymis, vas deferens and then finally ejaculatory duct. We commonly use these sperms for carrying out IVF or ICSI when we carry out regular IVF at our centers. In some of the men who come to us, they don't have sperms in their ejaculate. And when we do your semen analysis, we see that there is no azospermia. Azospermia means that there are no sperms in the ejaculate. In such a condition, we always suspect that there is something wrong either with the testes or with the fine tubes which are connecting your testes with the outside. And in these conditions, we carry out some basic hormonal testing. We clinically examine you clinically and then we know that you are not sperms. Sperms are not made sperms, but finally the diagnosis which we give is that you have azospermia which can be either obstructive or non-obstructive. When sperms have a passage mein problem hoti hai, and the tube block is blocked, then we say that the person has got obstructive azospermia and when everything is fine, then it is non-obstructive azospermia. When we find that a person has got an obstructive azospermia and sperms are not moving forward due to the blockage in one of the tubes which is abridmus, vas deferens or ejaculatory duct, in that case, we can carry out multiple surgical sperm retrieval techniques. So out of all these techniques, the easiest technique is PISA. In PISA, we give you minimal amount of anesthesia or sedation. We plan your surgery beforehand and then we put a fine needle inside your epididymis. This is a very simple procedure with minimal complication rates. So we take a small needle and put it inside your epididymis and then we carry out suction with a syringe and sperms are retrieved. Normally at our center, we carry out PISA few days before the ovum pickup or on the day of ovum pickup. The sperms which are taken out, they are cryo-frozen or they can be used fresh and we have found that in nearly 90% of cases, even more sperms can be retrieved and then we carry out IVF or XC. Some other terms which we commonly talk about in which you want to ask questions about and know that sir, this is okay, but what is TISA, MISA, TESI? 
So there are multiple, these are multiple sperm retrieval techniques which we use to take out the sperm from the testes. As I've told you, PISA is the simplest method and then we have a technique called TISA. In TISA, we do testicular sperm aspiration. PISA ke andar hum ek needle dalte hai, epididymis ke andar aur jab hum TISA karte hai, then we put a needle inside the testes and then apply suction and take out few sperms. These sperms are as healthy as the sperms which we take out from PISA and they can use for IVF and ICSI. But PISA is a simpler technique as compared to TISA and gives us very good outcome when we carry out IVF. So today we have talked about PISA, ke bare mein, the role of PISA in IVF. We spoke about the PISA procedure and we also spoke about various other surgical sperm retrieval techniques. We also spoke about the PISA IVF success rates and we also spoke about the difference between PISA and TISA. So we have to know that PISA is a very safe method, it gives you minimal complications and it's got a very very good success rate. I'm sure you would have enjoyed this talk. Or if you have liked our talk, please like our channel, please subscribe it, please share it with your friends and relatives who may be having a similar problems or they want to learn about the technologies. It was nice talking to all of you and if you want to meet us, contact us, please visit our website you can talk you can talk to us 24 by 7 you can book an appointment and visit our hospital or you can drop a line to our call center hum jald dobara milenge ek naye topic ke sath ek naye issue ke sath jo aapki madad karega ek mata pita banne ke andar